So, I'm Noelle, and this is kind of my new channel, so <laughs> kind of new to this whole thing. But, uh, there's nothing really exciting to learn about me. I run track and field, I play trumpet, and I have kind of a crazy obsession with cats. Alright? That's all you really need to know. That's the basics. So, now I can pretty much be your best friend. Sort of. I'm just gonna start this off the bat with starting a rant. High school bathrooms. I'm a high school senior, and <laughs> I've, I'm pretty much kind of sick and tired of all this stupid bathroom stuff, okay? So, let's just start it off where going to the bathroom with your friends. That's a pretty normal thing for girls, yeah? Guys are always like, why are you going to the bathroom with your friends? Like, do you need your friends to help you pee? And no, because what I've read, Hermione Granger, went to the bathroom by herself, and a troll came and got her, okay? Straight and simple. The troll's gonna get one of us, and that's pretty much simple as it gets. Another thing, say you drink two of these, you drink it, finish the whole thing, fill it up again, finish the whole thing again. I don't know about you, that happens to me all the time, and then by, the, by this time, you have to go to the bathroom so bad, you're sitting in class, and you don't know what to do. You're like, I can't concentrate on this class because I have to pee so bad. You finally get excused from class and you go into the bathroom and there's girls in the bathroom and they're like, Oh yeah, Jimmy said this. Oh my god, that's so cool. And as soon as you open the door, they'll be like, oh, yeah. And you're just like... And you basically sprint into the stall because that's so freaking embarrassing. Because you just stopped their whole conversation. So now you're sitting in the bathroom. And they're still not talking. And they're not going to leave until you're gone. And that sends a panic attack to you. Because, come on, you don't, you don't want them to sit there and listen to you. Like, you just want to stand over the edge and just be like, Hey, turn on the tap. So you're sitting there. And you're pretty much in full panic mode. Because you can't go to the bathroom. And now these girls think you're taking a shit. And you're sitting there and you're like, go, oh, come on, you don't need to freak out anymore. This is okay, this is normal, this is an okay thing to do. Finally you go and you open the door and they're still standing there. And like, you wash your hands, you dry your hands, and then you leave. These girls are gonna go back to talking. Pretty much the next thing they're gonna say is, God, that girl took forever, what do you think she was doing? And like, it's just so freaking scary. Another thing, that happens moderately in my school, not as much this year, but... Inspirational quotes. Uh, I don't know if any of you have gotten that before, but I don't know. It happens a lot. But there's the ones where it's like, keep believe in yourself. Don't let others discourage you. I'm not against that, but instead of like whipping out your phone to check your texts that you don't really get in class, because if you're a good student like me, you don't text in class. How do you even carve in the skadals anyway? What just took like a knife or something and they carved it into the stalls. Seriously, you're gonna like sit there and you're gonna whip out a knife and you're gonna be like, oh, this'll be good. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'm the only one, but do you get scared when you're going to open up the door that enters to the bathroom? And do you always fear that if you open up the door, someone else is gonna go rushing in and it's gonna slam you against the wall? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, but that's one of the fears that I always have because that's happened to one of my friends and he broke his wrist because he was going to open the door and then some other guy comes and rushes and he just goes BOOM and then he's flown back and he has his hand in a cast for like the next three freaking weeks. If you go to the bathroom during class change, there is a line. And this line is not just maybe two people. It's like maybe five or six or seven or I don't know what the f There's so many people and it's just crowded and you're congested and you're contemplating. Can I hold it? Can I wait till class? I, I, I don't Can I wait till after class? I, I don't know. I don't know why I have to go all the time. I won't- Actually, yeah, I kind of do. Because I, I probably drink half the world's population of water every single day. You, you'll contemplate just not going at all and wait until at, like halfway through class when it's like it's an emergency. And you'll go to class, you'll wait, and then in a boring part you'll just be like, Hey, can I go to the bathroom? There's three options that the teacher will say. Yes, you can. The simple one. The one that everybody wants to hear. Two, 
the one that's like, oh, you should have gone during class. You should have gone during class change or at lunch. Why you can't miss my class right now? Once like. What the hell, lady? Or man? Like, I'm, I didn't know I had to go before class. Unless you were with what I just said and had to go before and didn't want to wait in the line. But anyway, it's like, it's like, sorry, I can't control my bladder. Like, I need to go right now. Why won't you let me go? And the third one, that's, this is the worst one. You'll say, hey, can I go to the bathroom? And the teachers will be this, say the smart ass comment. I don't know. Can you? And you'll just be like, oh my god, may I go to the bathroom? Fucking bitch. I get so angry when they say that because that's like, that's been used since I was in elementary school. I am a grade 12. S stop using your sass. Like, I don't want to deal with your sass right now. Like, it is school. Like, just shut your mouth. Anyway, that's it for me.